Peace. What's happening, Leathercraft World? It's your favorite leather craftsman, R.D. Muhammad, the leather cowboy, right here at Premier Leather Craft Studios in the Dirty South. The Dirty South is where I lay my head. I feel like I lay my head more or less inside of Premier Leather Crafts is because I'm here all the time. But uh, this video today, ladies and gentlemen, is the completion of the leather beer koozie that I have been doing other videos leading up to this about how you can take scrap leather and make functioning product, resellable products, not resellable, but sellable products just out of scrap leather. Overall, I am pleased with the overall look. Uh, now, there are some rooms for uh, improvement, which that's great. That's not a problem because this is just a mock-up. It's just a mock-up piece or concept or prototype. But before we put this out here to the world, I'm definitely going to correct those little small uh, imperfections, which one you guys can see right off the break is right up under the base of this. So uh, what I can do is extend this out a little bit more so uh, it doesn't concave on the bottom. You want this to be a straight flush area all the way around. But overall, I am very sastomified, like my daddy used to say. Sastomified, for those of you who are not from the South, doesn't even, uh, may not know that, but sastomified is beyond satisfied. So I am sastomified uh, with the overall look. Um, the only thing that I, I, I did some uh, other things along the way on production of this or making this, uh, I decided to go with, instead of stitching it, I decided to go with a Mexican basket weave, which I'm going to make me want to do a video on basket weave. So I'm going to do another video on that, um, the Mex Mexican basket weave. Um, now, the only difference, um, and, and then it's just a, another arsenal in your uh, your tool chest or in your vault, another weapon in your in your arsenal. Uh, that you can add to uh, your your leather products that you're already creating. Uh, also, real quick, uh, if you guys see that this is spinning, you invest into your business. Um, I know you're going to already invest into your tools, get better tools, get better different products. You're going to upgrade eventually from economy grade leather to uh, Craftsman Oak or Herman Oak. That's when you're really raking in the dollars in the business. But understand that in the beginning part of your crafting, you can take just the basic stuff and make great, wonderful products. That's why I do these videos uh, for you guys is that you can take what you have and really blow up and scale your business. And this little turntable is one. Uh, you can get this off of Amazon. I will put a link to where um, um, to where you can get this little turntable. Uh, it's only $14.99, but it works great when you are taking photos of your products. Now, if you guys can look at another video of mine that I did to where I was showing you how to create and make your own photo box, this is very economically uh, achieved. Five dollars where you can make your own photo box. Now, uh, I've already shot up enough pictures with this, um, but all you're going to use here in these, uh, these open slots, is your tissue paper. Now, the tissue paper works if you know anything about photography. Uh, where they have the soft light boxes, tissue paper actually works great to tone down the light. Uh, um, of so it doesn't be just over the because when you're shooting with your camera or your camera phone, you don't even have to go out and buy one of these high dollar uh, uh, Nikon's or uh, Canon. Uh, uh, T-Rex 9000, you don't have to do that. You can do all of this, ladies and gentlemen, right with your camera phone. Just make sure you clean, <laughs> clean the lens on your camera phone <laughs> real good so uh, it doesn't pick up anything. It makes it look all cloudy and junky and janky. But um, invest in you a photo box. Go to Dollar Tree. You can buy all of this stuff at Dollar Tree. And it's only a dollar and a quarter. Actually, the poster boards are two for a dollar. 
So, uh, and this is just the cork, the caulk foam board. Once you put that together, cut out your openings for your lights. Uh, these openings basically are for your lights. You can get, um, you can go to Walmart. They have those drop lights. And then you can, while you're at Dollar Tree, get you some 100 watt clandestine light bulbs. Screw those into your 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 drop lights, and then that the tissue paper is going to tone down that lighting enough to where when I set this onto the base of the board, and it's going to operate just like this, then I can shoot all of my videos and whatever I want to do or still photos right here in this photo box. Now, the reason why you want to use the black backdrop, and you can change that from the black to the white, but I'm getting away from the actual product itself. Um, but go back and watch that video on how I created the, um, how I created the photo box. Now, this little jewel here, ladies and gentlemen, is a good investment. It's a good investment, and they come different sizes. This is about the size of a 45 record. Uh, but it has the mirror on there, so when the lights hit it, the, the light reflections from the mirror is just going to make your product really pop. Just a food for thought. But let's get back to this. Uh, the only thing that I did different on this one is I incorporated the Mexican basket weave. And I won't say different because I was just making this, so it's all brand new. Uh, but I thought instead of the original idea was to stitch this together. And then as I was completing it, I said, you know, that Mexican basket weave would look great on this, especially with the color and the tone that came out from the leather. Now, I didn't even dye the leather. This is just oil tanned. So I did oil it really good. And then I uh, resiline the the rest of it so it locked in this darkened color from the oil dark i mean it turned out perfect it turned out great and i also went with this basket weave pattern that is very popular right now in the leather crafting industry um and, and if you guys go back and watch the other original video to where i was uh, designing this i gave you the stamps that were used into this and it's only two actually it's only one stamp well two uh one is a checkered beveler and that's what gives it the difference where this this uh if this was a true basket weave or basket this goes over and it goes under this weave and it comes out here and goes under there and then it crisscrosses the pattern but the three tools that i used was my square blade swivel knife because of cutting straight lines, you want to use that broad blade. And then I used a checkered angle beveler. And that was to create this look of the crisscrossing over woven pattern. And then I used a line thumbnail. Now, some, some people will use a, a line, and instead of the thumbnail tool, they will use a, like the angled beveler, the, the, the checkered beveler, instead of it having that checkered pattern, it'll have the straight lines on it. And that's what was used here to just create that pull tension look or the straining of the basket uh, weaves or the weaves in the basket. It gives it that strain look. Turn, I Overall, like I said, overall, I am sastomified with the overall project. Um, I think it's going to be a great mock-up to uh, project to use. Uh, now, even if you're not connected to a band or anything like that, uh, beginner crafters, intermediate crafters, you can make four of these at a time. I would call that a set. Make four of these at a time. And then uh, I think that these will make great gifts, uh, especially if you can uh, get to the point to where you can put um, uh, somebody's favorite sports team on here, or um, I think they will make great groomsmen gifts. Now, sports, mm. sorry, apologize. Sports are, are going to always be your go-to magic. 
because there's so many different sports fans for so many different types of sports. Uh, even if you start to market these overseas, when you start to market these overseas, uh, soccer is going to be the real big sport over there, which they call football, but it's not football. Uh, I won't even do that. But soccer is overseas. But here in the States, uh, you got football, baseball, basketball, tennis. I mean, you can go great in bananas. Uh, you can even carve your hockey team in here. Every sports team in America has a mascot or logo. So, And you can download those, those mascot pictures and just put them in here. So uh, great man cave gifts, great groomsman gifts. Uh, I think groomsmen get the worst end of the stick on the gifts. Uh, bridesmaids get all of the good stuff. But this is something functional that I think will make great groomsmen gifts. Uh, you can put four of these together for each of the groomsmen. And then the groom will purchase these for the people in his on his side of the wedding party. But I think these will work great. Work very great. Very great. Again, overall... I'm very satisfied with the overall project, but I am going to go back to the drawing board and extend the base a little bit. Extend the base a little bit. Just a hair. Just enough to get it to where now it doesn't stop the it doesn't stop it from sitting right. And you can see from this side to that side where this a little elongated here. So something in my measurement was off in the original design of that but over here it turned out very great so all i got to do now is just make sure that the same width on the measuring so small small imperfections that can be uh, corrected and before we put these out to the general public to sell but overall i'll keep this one for myself uh and um uh, or just to keep showing videos or taking pictures of and to, but these will definitely be out at the next concert for uh, free beer, which is the 420 event uh, with the Daughters of the South. So these will be definitely out on their merch table. Uh, these, the uh, custom uh, free beer lighters, all of this merch along with the the uh, t-shirts and everything else that they have over there to sell. Hey, look, I'm the Leather Cowboy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to get back to work because I want to go ahead and start perfecting, uh, get all of these little imperfections corrected and then start designing on another one. I, th I might do it in the same color just to keep everything consistent, but I might do some in a different color. I haven't made my mind up yet. The only other way that I can do these to keep these, uh, the only other way that you you can do these and put out a lot of them uh, is to put the airbrush on there. That way you don't have to worry about the inconsistency in your die strokes. Uh, is to put the airbrush on it and do it a little dark color around the outside and then let it fade to the natural color of the leather. I think that will work beautiful. Plus, I'm going to play with another wood grain pattern, too. Uh, I've been looking at um, this other design. Uh, if you guys are familiar with wood flooring, I think that design will look great on this, too. Because it just says masculine. Anything wood, woodsy, uh, is going to be manly. You know what I'm saying? So I think that will be real cool uh, to come with that wood flooring pattern. Uh, and then that's going to be a simple one, too. Uh, and that pattern, really, all you need is a cedar stamp. I'm going to show you guys, do a video on that. To all, all you need is a cedar stamp and your swivel knife. And you can use your swivel knife to cut the pattern of the wood grain in there. And then you will use your cedar stamp to simulate the nail. That's going to be a cool pro a cool video, so you guys stay tuned and come back and watch that one then. But like I said, I'm going to get back to work, fix these imperfections uh, that's in here. That's all that I see, really, is just that the bottom concaved a little bit. It still doesn't stop it from sitting correctly. It still sits, not going to turn over, but the overall cosmetics of it, that bothers me, the overall look. So I want this to be more flush and rounded just like this. So the appearance would sit 
flat. And I think all that's going to entail is to just make this bottom, uh, make that dial a little bigger. Just make that dial a little bigger, just to stretch that out. Maybe an eighth of an inch uh, uh, will get that to sit more round and flush. So, hey, I'm the Leather Cowboy right here, Premier Leather Crafters in the, the Dirty South. You guys, come back. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber as of now, uh, go ahead and hit the follow button and then hit that little bell. So every time that I do these videos, it will send you a notification. So you guys, it'll help you guys in your craft. And just to let you, just to let you know, to help you keep crafting. I'll see y'all on the other side. Peace.